Hello Akuma fans, this is Charlie with the Gossiker Applications staff with another step-by-step -step tutorial for you. Today we are working on populating our collision avoidance software machining environment with chucks and work holding. So our first step on this, you notice that we're using a simulator for a Multis B machine. However, this tutorial is practical for any turning center. So you can use this for U machines or LBs, Genos, anything with collision avoidance and horizontal work holding. So our first step is to define the models that we want to utilize. So I'm going to start with a 12 inch chuck. I'll start by going into my vertical action key OSP and selecting the easy modeling function. On the left side of the screen you'll notice we have all our categories for easy modeling and we want to select fixture. That's what we're creating first is our chuck. If I had an STL of this model I'd utilize the read function to pull in that STL from a chip but in my case I'm using new because I'm going to create a brand new basic shape. F1 is basic shape and I will specify this as being 6 inches long by 12 inches in diameter. Once I say OK, it populates a primitive on the screen and I have the opportunity to add shapes if I want. I'm not worried about JAWS at this point. The software is going to create those for me automatically. But before I save this out, I do want to use F4 set model info and specify that this is a chuck instead of a jaw or a fixture or center. So now I've saved it as a chuck and by saying OK, I have the opportunity to tell it that this is going to be a test 12 inch chuck. Now it's in my easy modeling software and I don't have to create this again. It'll be there until someone either deletes it or modifies it. So I can close to get out of my easy modeling software and I'm ready to attach it to the machine. First step is to select which spindle we want to work on, whether it's spindle 1 setup, spindle 2 setup. In our case, we're doing spindle number 1. And we're familiar with this page. It's where our zero sets are and a definition of our jaws and uh, blank if we haven't previously defined it. However, since we want to use collision avoidance, I'm going to use F7 process shape to open up the population environment. Initially, it'll show nothing more than our spindle. That's part of the machine, so that can't be modified. But I want to add a jig. And since I've already created it, I'll utilize the read function, which then opens up easy modeling. And I can select my test 12-inch chuck that I previously created and say OK. It's now positioned it in space exactly where I want it. And I can now add another jig. I want to create the jaws at this time. So F3, create jaw, allows me to populate the exact dimensions of my jaws. In this case, there's already some default values in there. I'll need to modify them ever so slightly. You'll notice that the compass rows down here is showing me exactly what they're asking. L1 is the overall height of the jaws, the overall length of the jaws. L2 is the depth of a pocket that is holding the material. D3 is the amount between the material and the outside of the jaws. Chucking diameter, that's our material size. And start angle, where is this jaw? That's not really relevant to what we're doing, but... And we have three jaws that are 1.375 apart. Now by clicking on OK, the graphics will show me what I've just created. If I'm happy with that, OK will now bring those in and put them on top of my fixture. Now I'm ready to transfer that into CAS. So F8 exit gives me the option of either transferring to my collision avoidance environment or cancel those results. In our case, let's transfer to CAS. And now it brings us back to the original page. And if I go over and look at my collision avoidance environment, I now have a chuck in there. The blank can be added through the same procedure. I'm going to go back into my Spindle 1 setup, process shape, and you notice I still have my previously defined uh, fixtures and jaws, and now I can add a blank through F2. I could have done this in the original process, but we wanted to see it in pretty real life. 
So now I can either create a rotated shape or read if I already have another blank already in my easy modeling. I do, I've got a couple that are in there, so let's add that. And I have the opportunity to set the position to define how far out from the, uh, from the chuck the material is. If it's not oriented in space properly, my turn right and turn left allows me to rotate the part about the axis of view and specified position will allow me to move in or out depending on how I want to uh, uh, grip the part, how much is hanging out of the chuck. Now, I don't have a blank that's the appropriate size, so let's go ahead and call this done, but I can always get back into my JAWS and I can edit these. Now let's edit, enter our parameters and tell it that my chucking diameter, instead of being three inches, is only one inch because that's the size of my blank. Now when I say OK, everything looks happy. I can exit, transfer to CAS, and now my collision avoidance environment is complete. If I plan on using this more than just this one shot, it would be a very good idea for me to save this. I'm going back into process shape. And before I exit out of this, I arrow over one time, and I've got the opportunity to save the machining envelope. So F7 save. I want to make this saving name the same as my NC program name. So I'll call this the test. Whoops, huh, misspelled it. That is a little more like it. So now my NC program name automatically populated, which means the opening line of my program should be C-A-S-C-M-E test. That will read this machining environment automatically every time someone hits cycle start. Now, OK, we'll save it. And I'll exit, transfer to CAS. And now we're all set and ready to rock. Same procedure goes for the subspindle. Now, one last little footnote for you. I'm going to go into my easy modeling. And you'll notice that in machining environment for spindle one, I now have one called test. And doggone it, it looks exactly like what I just created. Hope this helps you out.